And you guessed it right. You know what time it is. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. So it is relationship time. Now, despite uh -huh. being aware of the wide array of physical and mental benefits of engaging regularly in physical activity, there is still a domination of physical activity across the well, world. Inactivity, in addition, yeah. Rather, sure. inactivity, where people just aren't active. Uh, in addition, of course, developing the patterns for regular exercise can be challenging for, for so many of us, right? Mm, oh, completely, man. And today we are asking, do you enjoy taking care of your physical health? Do you have a relationship with yourself? And our clinical psychologist, Ashadullah Abit, is here today to help us discuss this. And we are taking your questions and comments via our Facebook page this morning. That's Express on Morning Show. Asha, uh, welcome back. Thanks Good for getting morning. the memo. We all, we all uh, look <laughs> fine in our, our grey. Love to see it. This, this is something that I can speak with some authority because I used to live physically before my back operation. I, I didn't realise how much of my mental processing happened through that, that meditative state that you go into when you, and having that taken away from me has been a massive thing. There are so many messages telling us how important physical activity is, how, and, and we know this, every expert is on Instagram, TikTok, sleep doctors with a million followers, You're clearly we're aware, time. yet we are not doing it. Why do you think our attitude towards physical health has been on the downward, the, the slide? Why, why aren't we out there doing this? Well, Graham, I think now we are in the information age, the digital age, and I think that, you know, we are more, we are living a far more sedentary life. So we are not moving enough. We are more um, <clears throat> sitting still on our devices. Um, everything's available online and we're not moving. I mean, even our apps are now needing to tell us when to move, when to drink water. <laughs> yeah. um, so <clears throat> we need to actually just go back to the basics of in order to be healthy, we need to move. It's as simple as that. But it is challenging for many people to get moving because it's that all or nothing approach. Um, uh, it's all that attitude of no pain, no gain that sometimes mm. limits us. It's the most natural, inherent um, stance within us just to move our bodies. It's but what we were designed <coughs> to do. And, and Asha, I mean, we hear all about it all the time, right? And I think that we're all encouraged uh, to get out there and get moving. But maybe it's about drilling down what those benefits are. If you can distill mm. for us really from a mind, body connection and wellness uh, perspective, what are the benefits of being <coughs> active? So firstly, I think that when you are active, you, are, you have a raised self-esteem and a raised self-confidence. Sure. You have a um, a much better body image. Obviously, there's benefits of sleeping better. Um, your mood is far better. You have more greater focus, more concentration. And of course, you decrease your chances of um, <clears throat> high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease. So it's a multitude of benefits, both mind and body. And you cannot separate the two. It goes hand in hand. I watched the most amazing <clears throat> TED talk the other day on the relationship between physical activity and the mental health in terms of the actual physical structure of the brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, literally, you need that dopamine that comes from physical exercise to keep your brain healthy. And if you don't do it, um, you're going to fall short. So <clears throat> all of this being said, what do we do? What's that first step for someone who wants to make that change? What should they be telling themselves? How do we bridge that gap now and actually become more active? Well, to become more active, we need to start moving. In order to, to, um, to be healthy, we need to move. But it really starts with the very small steps. You know, just whether you can take the stairs mm -hmm. instead of taking the lift. Um, and also just getting into... Um, your why. Why is it that you actually want to exercise? Mm. What is your vision? What is it? Because it's about the, the, how are we associating exercise with, is it with diet? Because very often um, we have this diet culture that um, is a catalyst to, to dismantling the joy of movement. Mm. Um, we, um, <clears throat> we exercise 
just merely to, to lose weight or for our physical appearance. But like I said earlier on, there are so many ben benefits. Yeah. And when it comes to mental illness, of course, it decreases depression and anxiety, which we are all facing to some degree at this point. And I like that we you mentioned that spectrum. start small. Start with, for example, instead of taking the lift, take the stairs. It's not about watching Ralph de Monet's Instagram and seeing him <laughs> climb up the highest peak of mountains and wanting to do that, because that can be intimidating, but try and make those changes and adjustments. Get your questions through to us on our Facebook, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. Asha is here. She'll be answering some of those questions about mobility and getting active. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's get active. You can get active right this second, in fact. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to Live with Expresso as we continue our relationship mm -hmm. chat and it's a relationship with ourselves, with our, our physical well-being. Yep, we're talking relationships. Yes, certainly indeed, relationship we have with ourselves. Today we're asking, do you enjoy taking care of your physical health? Do you do? Do you do enjoy it? Do you do it? Uh, we're back with clinical psychologist Asha Dulab to unpack this topic. Uh, so do weigh in with your questions or any of your comments that you might have on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. Asha. So it continues. And of course, so many comments have been flowing in as well on our social media. It's an interesting conversation to have with ourselves, right? Yeah. And it, and it can often be quite a negative one. Mm. Uh, maybe it stems from like a, a, a bad self-image where it's like, okay, I need to get in shape because I hate the way that I look. Yeah. Or, and it becomes this beast that you've got to slay every day. Yet it could be the best part of your day. It could be that little success when everything else is falling apart around you. Yeah, you did one more kilometer. You did one more step even. Why is it important for us to have a positive attitude around our physical well-being and exercise? Well, a positive attitude is a good start. Anything that when we think positively, we'll, we'll feel better about it and our behavior will transcend in, in you know, taking action on a level that you feel excited about. I think, Tabisa, you know, you speak about the joy. It is so important to enjoy the activity that uh, you do because not every activity will fit every individual. So, that, you know, we need to connect with what we really, really enjoy. Um, I think it's so important to um, <clears throat> tap into um, our intrinsic motivation, which sometimes is very hard. You know, we, and then in that regard, you know, draw in a friend or a partner to train with you, mm. to, to help you with that motivation. Because when you do have poor body image, it's very hard to want to get out there yeah. and um, go, go and train. Do stuff. And also connect with your fitness story. You know, have you had a fitness trauma? What is your past um, dictating now about your current um, need to, um, to train or to, to get fit? And why are you exercising? Mm. The, the why is quite important. And once you understand your fitness story, you'll be able to identify what is it that motivates me to exercise, um, because that will give you your why. And, and the importance is that we need to actually focus more on the benefits, both mentally and physically, um, that we gain from it. The clarity, the creative energy that flows from sure. exercise. Mm. Um, the, the clear mind, I mean, you know, if you go for a run, everyone speaks about this mental clarity that they get and that's phenomenal. It puts you in the zone, it, it really can. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing and I don't want you guys sitting here and thinking that I'm making excuses here, all right? But consistency... This is a judgment-free <laughs> space. Thank you for that. Okay. Consistency is important. It's key when it comes to this sort of thing. You know, you can't go, okay, today I'm getting out there and being active for this week and then next week don't do it until next year. But it's difficult when you have a hectic schedule, mm. you're working or you've got children and all of that. How do you bring yeah, it yeah, into it? Yeah. Yes, you know, us with children. <laughs> how, do you, how do you actually build that consistency in a way that yeah. also doesn't make you then also beat yourself up when you're not able to go one extra kilometer? Mm -hmm. Consistency is very important, but like you say, we are busy. So I think just be kind to yourself, you know, start, do your very best that you can. But when you don't get to it, it's, don't give up. Just start as soon as you can thereafter. I think many people start, they give up because they've missed a day or two, and then it's like they, they throw in the towel. But it's, it's really important to, uh, to stay focused and to, again, it links into your script and your story as to why you're doing it. Mm. Um, and, and we are moving. I mean, just earlier on, you were dancing. That is movement. So um, also realize that the little that you do is, is a lot. 
you know, and, and just keep that consistency um, daily, establish a routine. You know, um, once you know, we can create a habit of doing something, it com completely becomes unconscious, you don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. And then it fits into a beautiful routine in your day. So that's quite important. It becomes a routine. You look at the, yeah. the journey that, say, for instance, Jamie's been on, look, the different person that she is now and how that feeds off. So find that person who inspires mm -hmm. you in that space. Yeah. Feeding off what you, you mentioned a moment ago, the trauma, our physical mm -hmm. trauma, an event, the human condition to wait until it's too late before we start looking after ourselves. If you've had a scare, mm. if something has happened to you that's now said, okay, I need to actually start taking care of my health, whether it's cholesterol, whatever it may be, how should people approach that when there's that deeper emotional yeah. relevance? So there we have a little bit of fear that sets in. You know, if you are not well physically, mentally, you feel that if I'm going to exercise, I may just cause more harm to my illness or my physical disability. So, but it's exactly what we are needing to feel better and to feel healthy is to exercise. So listen to your body. There are great professionals that can assist and guide you as to how you can move. Just basic stretching. I mean, even if it means touching your toes, does wonders. Yeah. I mean, if you move this one hand for a whole month, it's definitely going to strengthen. Yeah. So sometimes the one body part that we can't exercise due to the pain that we're experiencing for some injury, try and, and, and nurture other areas try of, something else, um, yeah. of, of your body to, to exercise. Um, um, and when in doubt, just dance, man. Well, yeah, just, just dance. dance. You can dance your way into that fitness, that overall wellness. But what I like is that it's a personal journey. And what I like about that is that it's not a competition. Because I think it's as, an as invitation. You start, yeah, it's an invitation, <laughs> not a competition. Because as soon as you start seeing it as a competition and then a challenge, then you, you, you don't want to do it. <laughs> Look, it's, it's vital, though, when you're going in the kitchen, the most arduous physical activity, that you do a good stretch. It's my feel good breakfast show. Ah, uh, a few more minutes of Feel Good coming your way. Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso. We're live on S3. Now, it's a Monday morning. You know what we do on Mondays. We talk relationships. Today, we're asking, do you enjoy taking care of your physical health? It's something we should all enjoy, let's be honest. We're back with clinical psychologist Asha Dulab to unpack this topic. And we've asked you to weigh in with your comments as well as your questions on our Facebook page. Mm, hopefully we'll get onto those in just a moment. But um, keeping with the theme of the day, this is always terrifying for me because every expert that comes on says to the show <laughs> says you need seven to eight hours of sleep or nine, or, nights, or, nine or 12 or whatever dreamland you live in and in our reality, with kids at home, with this job, it's just not going to happen. But we need good sleep. And often if you're struggling to sleep, I find if I'm exhausted from exercise, when I, or fulfilled from exercise is maybe a better term, I sleep so much better. Absolutely, it goes hand in hand. Uh, the more active you are in the day, you actually sleep far better at night. Wow, I think, I think you release a lot of that like attention, that kind of energy, oh. it allows you to sleep, man. I suppose it's like the kids, right? Like if you look at Jack, for example, if he's been running around for a couple of hours, when he does sleep, he really does sleep like a baby. Uh, no, he never, he never <laughs> sleeps. He never sleeps. <laughs> uh, but a lot of people might think that they sleep a lot and that, you know, uh, their sleeping pattern is, is a bit off. What is the importance of making sure that that is regulated and that that is managed? What happens if we don't get sleep. enough yeah. good sleep? We all know the feeling of not sleeping well. We, uh, our moods are affected, we're irritable, uh, we don't feel energized in the day, we can't really focus. We don't even feel like exercising. If you've have, had a bad day of sleep, you can't really get to the gym or go for that run. Uh, but even if you do actually push yourself and do that, you'll actually feel, feel much, so much better. better. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, sleep also plays a role with our weight management. It re releases certain chemicals that also mm. help us um, with our weight. So it's incredibly important. We heard earlier from the doctor in, with, in sleep mm. uh, yeah. of how important it is to get good quality sleep. And Graham, there is no magic number, I think, when it comes to sleep. It's mm. really about saying, Waking up in the morning and saying, I've actually had a good sleep. Mm. Whether that is five hours, six hours, or four hours, everybody's body, you know, we all have a different constitution and what we are needing to feel rested is different. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just need to... Okay, well then maybe let's get practical for a second, yeah. <laughs> and, and how do we approach this? If we, if we are going to be 
having irregular sleep patterns, and, we, and this is becoming a bit of a pressure point for us. Mentally, how do we focus on this? What do we need to do to achieve that, that kind of healthy balance from a mental perspective? What, how should we approach it, do you think? I think that we need to establish a good association with the place that we sleep. I mean, so often many of us go to bed lying in bed thinking, oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight, you know, mm. because the night before we haven't slept. Yeah. And in that space, you're not going to sleep. So look at what is your emotion associated with sleeping? Does it cause anxiety? Are you worried about the insomnia? Obviously, a good um, sleep ritual, a routine is, is important. Mm. Um, you know, there's a lot of research that speaks about not having a heavy meal before going to bed, um, creating an atmosphere in the bedroom where there's more dim lights. Um, obviously... Um, it's not that kind of relationship chat, Asha. Come on, man. <laughs> but really just connecting uh, with yourself and, and, you know, use your meditation, your yeah. breath work, your breathing Quiet to really calm mind. down. It's a busy mind that prevents us from sleeping. Something you always say, okay. Asha, is intention. You're always mm -hmm. going on about intention. And I think what I'm picking up from this is that we've got to be more intentional about the importance that exercise, movement, good sleep, and all of that plays in our lives, that when we do do that, we are better people across all areas of our lives, right? Absolutely. You are love spot it. on. I love it. I think an opportunity for all of us to maybe just take a moment just even if you have to write a list of those things that, that make you feel good, that make you, you, you know, feel fun about exercising, not because you need to lose the weight, but because it makes you feel awesome. Mm. And also, what constitutes a good night's rest for you? What are those things? Is it reading a book? Just take stock. You know yourself better than anyone else. Asha, are you going to exercise today? What are you going to... I've, gonna... I've already exercised. Oh, wow. <laughs> what time do you... Are you like Team 5 a.m.? I'm an early bird. I, I get up early to exercise. What do you what, do what for did exercise? You, what did you do? A walk or some yoga. I stretches it's, it's nice. that's the best do you thing. do stretches like jamie on on the bed like <laughs> i start up in the bed and i get up and i get onto the floor <laughs> see i just i wake up on the, the floor of my my baby's <laughs> I wake room up. next to the cot <laughs> and i throw water in my face no um absolutely so interesting thanks i know we've drifted into sleep speciality which is mm. not um your your speciality but you've given us psyche some, yeah man this is this has really opened my eyes and i think there's an opportunity for all of us to just have a better relationship with ourselves it starts with you so do that take stock of what really works for you and start that better relationship with yourself your physical self today